Hey guys, so many of you are asking me or Pramod, can you tell us like how to add the projects as well as a experience and how to basically create a resume for specifically for an API testing role. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about how you can write a API tester resume with template. I'm going to give you proper example also how you have to add your responsibility. What are the different keywords that you need to use? What I have used, right, which basically gets selected, right? We are going to discuss about the important keywords, glossary keywords, important descriptions that you can basically add. I'm going to give you a good example and a bad example also how it is basically make difference, right? How you can basically add any kind of an API testing experience into your resume, right? This video is super important. If you are a fresher who want to add a API testing things in your resume, right? It will be helpful so that your resume gets selected. If you're a manual tester, you have to add API testing right now because it's almost very, very important. If you're an automation tester, if you have already have some experience around API, right? How you can add Add or how will you be add right APA testing things into your resume right we're gonna see in this video all right so let's get started all right the first one guys uh, make sure that you have a clarity on the responsibility clarity on responsibility is super important for example you can uh, what are the different responsibility for an API tester is basically coordinate with the development team basically creating a status reports for every day right it can be developing the test scripts related to APIs right test cases and test scenarios test planning right uh, ensuring that there is a performance a security issues and discussion with the teams right detecting error bugs and reporting them properly right putting the strategy strategy into practice to improve your testing right and the quality of a product so see overall these are the generic terms that you can use as a responsibility but overall how to add proper keywords and description this is where the magic happens because if you are not adding proper keywords as well as description into your resume right trust me your resume will not get selected so pay attention right now first of all you need to know about the different api testing terminology right what are the different bullet points and how what are the different keywords you need to add Right. So first link, which is basically here, you will find all the different keywords. For example, REST is there, API, STPP, header, body, request, get, post, post, CRUD, right? URI, params, JSON, right? Authentication, auth, auth, auth2. All these are nothing but the important keywords. If you have worked on it, please add it to your resume. You have to add them. It's super important for you guys. And another important thing is you can basically go with the API testing glossary, right? Which basically contains more number of keywords related to API testing. For example, we have API endpoint, gateway, integration, API keys, lifecycle, layer, and other things, right? So why these are important? Pramod, please tell me why these are important. Since these are important because whenever you are preparing a API testing project, right? So what you can do is you will add those keywords into that, right? You will add a keywords into this. Uh, another important thing is you can add a very important power keywords in this case. For example, you have provided, analyzed the requirement, performed the API testing, right? Created, assigned, developed, managed, updated, and tested. These kind of keywords you have to basically add to basically add a power to the projects. Now let's see the different keywords that you can use, right? For example, generally, whenever we have a resume for zero to two to zero to five or five plus, right? Number of keywords you have to increase in this case, right? Keywords can be API testing, STPP, CRUD, Postman, rest assured, SOAP, Swagger, Karate, API, get request, web services and endpoint. Now you will ask me, Pramod, I'm a fresher. Do I have to ha add all of them? No, the answer is no. Only please add only the keywords where you have a knowledge and you have worked on it. I would request you because sometimes in interview, people will ask question from the resume. Now let's see the practical example. What is a good example and a bad example to add a project? In this one, we are basically going to see. Before that, if you add a API testing projects into your resume, for a fresher, it will boost your resume. And if you are an existing manual tester or an automation tester, you can add Postman and other tools. It will also boost your resume in this case and selection chances will increase, right? Let's see the boring example. So boring example, for example, if you see here, right, this is one of the project which is done, right? Right? It's a, a testing of RESTful Booker API, which is available online using Postman, right? Basically mentioned about a couple of stuff. We have used Chai Adarshan library, no numbers, anything like there is a list view properly not mentioned. Okay, what you have done, right? Better example, I would say is where you have specifically in the subject line, right? Tested a RESTful Booker application with 100 plus API test cases, right? Number, I have added specific number and it was running daily by using Jenkins and Newman. Right, tools I have used Postman, Jenkins, and Newman. Uh, language, right, test cases I have written in JavaScript. Chai Adarshan library we have used. 
right so 100 plus test cases with a basic auth and a digest auth authentication basically authorization basically we have added and tools like ci cd for jenkins and newman we have used for daily pipeline right so overall the keyword here we have basically modified and basically made it a better example as compared to the last one so this is how you can add it right i hope this is clear so Overall, conclusion here is that talk about numbers. Whenever you are creating a resume, right? Make sure you add a proper numbers. Discuss your own project. What what you have done? It's just discuss like for example what you have worked on this, right? Talk about the tools. Always talk about the tools. This is one of the example, right? Where I am just talking about was responsible for running API test manually with almost like two thousand test cases running daily, right? Optimize the API testing and uh, so that they can run fast. You can basically tell them. Or I have basically added. API monitoring also by using run scope tool right so this is how you modify and here i'm using the power keyword also developed managed updated tested performed right all the overview right i hope this is clear this is how you can create your api tester resume or if you are a fresher or manual tester this is how you can add your projects with a better examples i hope this is clear guys and if it was helpful just in the comment let me know it was helpful right i will create more videos around this how you can add more projects right in manual as well as in automation also let me know if you want part 2 for automation as well as for manual right i'll create it all right thanks a lot please give a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye